Hi everybody, it's Leila Angelique. This is a piece that was very difficult for me to begin. I find that all of the pieces that I make, I really don't trust myself. And that's difficult. And I started this piece basically a day or two before we left Tulum to go to Cozumel. And it's, I have learned that it's very important for me to get a sketch going before we move to a new place. It's a way that keeps me working on my artwork continuously. Because if I'm just facing a blank page and we're sitting in a new place, in a new apartment, it can take me a lot longer to get going. Because this fear of the blank page is a, is a major issue for creative people not having any ideas. So just having something there on the paper was really helpful for me. But it took me a lot of conscious effort, which it always does. Because the thing that I enjoy the most is um, painting and drawing. The sketching process is usually very painful. Um, because it requires imagination and, you know, it's a, just a challenging process. But for those who don't know, I am very much obsessed with drawing. And it keeps me going. There are several reasons. Uh, drawing gives me a sense of control over something because within the context of life, we really don't have much control over anything. And as you get older, we tend to recognize that, that the lack of control in life is, is very big, that there's very few, there's very little things you can actually do within life to change the outcome of, of things with relationships, with the way life goes, financial situations, anything. You just, there's not much you can do in life. And then within any given day, there's only so much you can do as well. Um, and I do tend to get frustrated about that that I can't do as much as I want to do. And I do a lot. I, I, do, I do a lot every day. I'm a very disciplined human being. I work very hard every day and I, I love doing that. I find that even on my days off, I'm just working all day long, editing videos, drawing, um, just anything that I can do to stay busy. Um, so drawing, helps me get out of my own head because especially these days when I've been when I feel was I, that I felt extremely rejected by someone I considered a close friend um, if I think too much about that for example it can really get me ripped ripped apart and I think about how little that you know basically I can't do anything about it but I can put marks down on a on a piece of paper. I can put colors down on a piece of paper and fill it with something beautiful from my imagination. Something that was just a blank piece of paper is then full of, of a beautiful artistic creation. And I did that. So it shows me that I'm doing something because I, can, I have some kind of measurable act of having created something. And creating is just it really does keep me alive. If I'm not creating, I, I don't, if I'm not producing something, creating something, I just don't feel, I don't feel alive. Um, and namely when we're in a new place, it's really important for me to just have a project, projects that I'm working on. And working on the vlog, editing videos every day, and drawing those things help me just keep my head in one pl in a good place um, and I can get very lost initially with a, a drawing I can with this one I was very lost initially and frustrated with myself and I think that happens 
every time for every single painting, no matter how good the last one was. Um, and that's, that's always annoying. So I think that's the biggest thing for me, is it just gives me a sense of direction when I draw. It makes me feel alive, and it makes me f believe in myself and go, oh, I can, I can do this. This is, this is something I can do. And I can't do much in the world. I can't make as large of an impact as I want to make. I can't influence as many people as I want to influence. I can't sing for as many people as I want to sing for. I can't draw as many things as I would want to draw in a day. But I can do this. I can see this creation come into focus and become alive and real. And that feels really, really, really good to me. Um, so drawing makes me feel happy. So I'm trying these days to to make sketches as simple as possible, to leave a lot of space for experimentation with drawing and coloring and painting, um, which is a challenge because I tend to be very um, OCD about my sketches. I need them to look just so. and. What's interesting about the painting process is that's not so um, uh, obsessive. I, mean, I, I get very obsessive about finishing the piece, but and and it looking the way I want it to. I'll work on it. You know, once I get to the finished stage, I'll work on it until I, my my lips are blue and my fingers are bleeding and my head's falling off and. My guts are falling out. I'm just so dedicated to making it look the way I want it to, and I really don't even really know why I'm that way with art and with everything I do creatively. But drawing is such a personal process, and and when I'm in the experience of flowing with the concept and with picking colors and choosing choosing what I want to do with the, the sketch and it starting to come into an interesting when it's starting to look decent it just takes me away and life is very difficult you know, even even in this day and age when we have a, a really beautiful life we get to travel to all these foreign beautiful places and the weather is beautiful and the people are so nice and it's sunny and warm and we have nice food to eat and we're always going somewhere new and playing for people and, and all that it's still really kind of treacherous the way that we live it's, it's not treacherous in a physical financial way in which we're in danger like we used to be but it's emotionally isolating, physically isolating a lot of the time we're alone, I mean most of the time we're alone, and I tend to long to be connected with people, I tend to long for more and long, wish I could do better and I could do more than I can do, but as I've gotten older, I'm now 35 years old and I have learned that I can do as much as I do and that that's okay, that that's enough. I don't beat myself up about it, but I can be very, uh... yeah, so, so the drawing process, when I'm sitting and drawing and listening to music, and the drawing is feeling good and looking good and, and going the way I want it to, it's just one of the happiest feelings that I have. It's a feeling of peace and serenity, and a lot of the time I'm not a lot of the time, but I'm, I can feel very on edge and that I'm, I'm not doing enough and I should be working harder and I should be more, just, I should do more stuff, even though I can't. I'm, I'm basically within one day, I do so much 
I get up and I work out. I edit edit videos and try to post videos every day, which is a lot of time and effort for me. And I draw, and then in the evenings we we play sometimes, and I spend time with with my husband, and we talk things out and work things out together. He's just been an incredible comfort and support for me in the last few days, but just in general. Um, but yeah, a lot. It, it's a soothing experience. It's a therapeutic experience for me. That's why I'm so obsessed with it, with drawing, is that it it just is so good for me. Because my mind can really eat me up. A lot of the time, my mind can go into really strange places and can make me sad and frustrated and depressed and doubting and, and all that so it's it's one thing that can help me just keep keep my head together and I need that so and I've been drawing I, mean, I really have been drawing as long as I've been alive really remember when I was a child and I would be sitting in uh, my grandparents' house, my parents' house, on on trips, on cruise ships, on anywhere we were, and I would just be sitting and drawing all the time. And I, I never saw it as a disciplined thing to do. It's just something that I loved doing. And I still, you know, I, I, I give these explanations and reasons, but I still don't really know why. I don't know why I'm so dedicated to it. I don't really even know why I'm dedicated to a lot of the things I'm dedicated to creatively. Because I'm really dedicated to the vlog, for example. I'm really committed to just sharing everything of our life, documenting everything, sharing everything. That's really important for me. I think it's important for the world to the, the few people who bother to look at it. I feel like it's good for people to know that we're out in the world doing this thing. And the fact that we live such an unusual life that I I, I know that I'm talented. I don't I don't have any doubt about that. It's not something that I question. And I don't question that about Thoth. I know that he's a great talent and he deserves to be seen and heard and I really believe in him and I believe in his generous giving spirit and I'm very protective of that. And I, for a long time I was really scared to share the drawing process because it's so intimate and it's so personal and it's so, um, it's so vulnerable to share the process of doing it. The, I even have trouble sharing the end result a lot of the time. I, I spent, you know, I've spent a really long time drawing and never really shared it with anybody. And it's not that I don't believe in myself. It's just, it's such a private experience for me. I'm, I'm in my own magical little world when I do it. And I'm in a place that I can be on my own and exploring my own mind and my own imagination, and I really like that. It's also that's an important aspect of my life in regards to the fact that I'm a, a public performer a lot of the time, and I have been. I remember when we would be in the Angel Tunnel, and the Angel Tunnel in Central Park was a very big space with lots of people going by and I was sitting there in the middle of the tunnel while I was waiting for Thoth to do his ceremony and I was thinking oh wow I'm, the only time that I'm really among people is when people are staring at me singing and performing and otherwise I'm very reclusive and it's not that I don't love interacting with people because I do I love talking to my friends that's another thing that's very soothing for my mind But this world is very lonely, and it's gotten more lonely over time because of cell phones and internet and all that. And it, there's very little 
impact one can make in the great scheme of things. I do believe, for example, that by documenting this experience and sharing it with you all, that it's me leaving something behind. And whenever I share vlogs or videos or music online, it's me saying, here we are, we exist. And I really do, I really would love for the work that we do to be seen. <clears throat> I would really love that. It would, that would make me very happy. Um, but over time, as I've gotten older, I've learned that not very likely because what we do is so unusual it's not connected to any popular modern thing it's so alien to people it's, it's extremely alien and very strange so <clears throat> it's unlikely that the wider world will notice it and see it and value it especially um, I actually worry sometimes about the work that we do reaching a wider audience and people just not understanding and attacking us or belittling us or um, bullying us or whatever because I, I spent all of my childhood just being misunderstood and bullied because I, I grew up in a very middle of the country kind of place uh, with people that were very simple minded and I, I really don't know how I survived part of the reason I survived was drawing I spent all my time in school either drawing or listening to operas you know and those things just helped get me away from the regular boring monotonous world because art is Art is something that comes from inside of us. It's something that comes from a deeper place. And every time I do it, it it's never a chore. It's never something that, that makes me miserable. It's just getting into the zone is, takes a, a bit of time and can be maddening at times. But I love that challenge. I love challenging myself every time, every day, to get something down on the paper. And in a way, I'm drawing is something that's much more fun for me than writing music, for example, because I don't know why. It's, I've never been into composing as much you know, as ob obsessed with composing music and writing music as I am with drawing. And I, I'm sure that's because I have made a living performing in public, being a street performer and entertaining people in public spaces so whenever I'm I have my time off and I'm at home I do something else and most people know me as a, a singer you know no, most people see me as this angelic vocalist coloratura soprano which I am and I'm very proud of my voice and my technique and my skill with singing and with music but I'm not just a singer I'm a artist. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a well-rounded creative individual. I do, I do all the arts. I do writing, I do drawing, I do acting, music, dancing, composing, makeup, costuming, everything. Anything that's creative. And everything influences and inspires everything else. I think any creative person would say that. When I do a really interesting painting, then that will inspire a, an interesting makeup look. Everything inspires everything else. And I'm really enjoying drawing traditionally, just on paper. For a long time I was doing uh, digital art, doing Procreate, and I got kind of tired of that because it's not, I can't touch it and feel it. And with acrylic paints, I'm, I'm really, reconnecting with my joy of, of painting which is something I wasn't doing for a long time I, I would tell myself that 
well, I can't paint. I can't carry paints with me because they're too heavy and bulky and I'm traveling all the time, so I can't do that. And only recently have I acquired some small little paint tubs of paint and I have a bunch now, but they're all very tiny so I can carry them around with me. Just throw them in my suitcase. I'm very happy about that. So I have this traveling art studio and I set it up everywhere that we go. I have my little desk space. It's very, very important to me. That's the significant aspect of getting a sketch going before we go somewhere new because then I can uh, get going on working on it when we arrive somewhere and uh, so yeah it's just a really really dear and precious part of my life and I want to I want to be a great artist I really want to be able to be as great as some of the people that I've admired over my life in art and music Um, but art is something very special because it's just like music, it's something that you, it's coming straight from you, within you, and then it's outside of you on a piece of paper, and you can see it, and it's there. Music is different than art, because music is something that you can't see it. Um, It's not, it's not a tangible thing. That's what I like about art, is that you can see it and feel it. Uh, But at the same time, I really don't care about the finished product which is funny to me because I'm so obsessive with making a piece look the way I want it to and yet when it's finished and I look through it it's I'm never it's not that I'm not satisfied I'm always very pleased with the work that I've done and happy with myself for having done it but at the end of the day I'm you know it's not it's not the it's not the piece that I did that's what I'm aiming towards is the experience of doing it and I have such an experience with all of my paintings each one of them and each one of them I'm growing every time I every time I do a new piece I'm learning something from the last piece and whenever I look through my sketchbooks I see how much I've evolved even when I do a piece that I didn't really like so much necessarily I learn a lot I learn a lot from it that's pretty amazing. So it's that act of just doing it, just just the act of doing it every day, just continuing to work at it. And I've been working at it all my life. And it's a very solitary, private experience. So it balances out the other aspect of my life that is very public and performance-based and people looking at me and staring at me. So that's very helpful that I get to be solitary and reclusive and quiet. I don't, I also don't have to make any sound when I paint or draw. I'm not, it doesn't require me really to make any, make any sound. I'm just quietly observing the paper and and adding marks and lines and colors and shapes to it until it becomes something that looks like the thing I saw in my head. And I've really learned how to um, draw from imagination, whatever that means, I really didn't understand what the fuck that meant for a very long time. Like, not at all. What is drawing from imagination? It's having an image in my head that I want to enact on the paper, and then being able to draw it with the technical skills that I've gained. And it is something that I'm learning how to do. It's taken a lot of time. I'd say it's been at least a decade for me to learn how to draw things that are not just right in front of me um, and not feel like I have to copy things Uh, that's taken a long long time but copying is is a good aspect of learning how to draw so but now I can I can use references and all sorts of things and then I can use my imagination to create something completely original um but being an original creative artist is it's a work and I'm very happy to be sharing my process with you and I really appreciate all of you who listen and watch because this is a very precious thing to me and um, thank you all for being part of the journey it means a lot to me, thank you